So, here we are. World Cup disappointment behind us. Gold Cup disappointment behind us. One last shot at the big time for the Cayman Islands as we go into the Nations League, looking to reach the knockout finals for the first time. We're just going to have to do it without Emerson Skeet. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Dodgy Gamer here, International Manager of Mystery. Managing obscure nations so you don't have to. As we said, Nations League action it is. We're already two games in to the Group A, Division A League stage. We are tied with Canada at the top of the group on four points apiece. So today we play the Canadians at home. Win, we go three points ahead, which means... We're pretty much there, but we've been here before. We've stumbled, we've slipped. Let's see if we can get through on two feet this time. Not much to fill you in on since the Gold Cup. Of course, we unfortunately lost to Jamaica. We travelled to Toronto to take on Canada in our Nations League opener. Another 1-1 draw to follow up the 1-1 draw from the Gold Cup. Not quite so late this time, but a similar story in that goalless first half, we took the lead. They pulled one back. We then played Guinea-Bissau in a friendly, which was also a 1-1 draw. And then, just a few days ago, we took on Dominican Republic, beating them 3-0, which gives us the edge in the group at the moment on goal difference. I have checked the rules, and it seems that sorting-wise, goal difference comes first, then goal scored, then results between two teams. So even if we can get a win today to open up a three-point gap, it doesn't guarantee us passage through to the knockout rounds, but it'll bring us pretty close. So this is the team we're lining up with. Ribeiro in goal, Ebanksweg and Wood Roach in the centre of defence. McLean and Welcome Fagan in the full-back positions. McLean is naturally a left-back, but we brought him in at right-back because both of my right-backs are completely knackered. We've got a youngster here, David Webb kind of a roundabout Emerson Skeet replacement in that he wasn't actually named in the original squad. You can see that he's contracted to Sunderland at the moment. Uh, Solihull Moors want him out on loan, so obviously big time player, this guy. But we had um, Jamal Rowe in the team. He got injured, unfortunately, in the Dominican Republic game. So Webb was drafted in from the under-20s and makes his debut against Canada today. A welcome return from an old friend, we could say, and Kuma Fagan returns. He kind of dropped out of the national scene once he kind of embedded himself in the Cayman Islands League, but we've called upon him for now. We've got Glidden Wright in the attacking midfield position, Carson Solomon and Elliot on the wings, Van Brederode, unfortunately injured at the moment. Rig up front, who is now on, let's check his goal scoring record, 44 goals. I wonder if we can get him to 50 goals before this career is over. Canada playing as they always do with a flat 4-4-2. Four, four, so, I mean, we were the better team. We didn't start well in the game in Toronto, but then we we were the better team. So, um, go out there and impress me. That's what we'll go with. So that was good to see. We didn't miss Skeet terribly, and then we were able to secure the result against Dominica as well. Hopefully we don't just screw things up here. Okay, the teams come out and line up, and we're off. Maybe this will be the last time. We've had quite a rivalry with Canada across this career. If you remember right back in the early days, our first World Cup qualifying campaign, we had a two-legged tie with Canada, and we actually beat them in... The first leg, we got hammered in the second leg, but that was a big result for us at the time with a team full of 16 and 17 year olds. And we've played them many times since. Lid and right, nearly giving us the lead there with very good strike. We get the corner, but uh, nothing. Oh, no, wait. Wood Roach whips one in. Ooh, Elliot just heads it over, but yeah. We've played Canada many times. Maybe after this game, should have pulled it up beforehand, but after this game I'll pull up the past meetings so we can kind of look back at that rivalry over the years. Well, nothing to note in that first half beyond those couple of highlights. Nine shots, but only one on target from us. But look, 72% possession. Canada haven't had a shot. We better not get FM'd on this one. 
I told them I'm not pleased because I'm not pleased with that finishing in particular, but we won't change too much. We, we've got to keep knocking at the door and hopefully we'll blow it down. All right, then time for substitutions. I think David Webb. Bit high expectation on him on his debut. He's obviously tired, so we're going to take him out of the team. Let's bring on a proper right back as well. We'll keep an eye on those wingers. The wingers are not really performing for us at the moment. We're just not incisive enough. Canada have finally had a shot. They've got their possession over 30%, but it's still nil-nil. But here we go. It's a free kick for the Cayman Islands here. Glidden Wright's going to take it. Oh, in the old days, Skeet would have fired these in. But he's left us now. He wouldn't have been available anyway because he is injured. Carson Solomon good idea to leave him on the pitch he puts us one nil up oh that brings us so close to a first ever appearance in the knockout rounds the semi-final stages of this nation's league hopefully we can close things out from here All right, i'm going to pull fagan out to that attacking midfield position which he has occupied for us in the past but he's going to play as an inverted winger and then Andrew Roach comes on for Jonathan Elliott. That should do it for the final 10 minutes. I think that's all our subs done. Yes, it is. Uh, but here we go. Canada looking to get a cruel, undeserved equaliser late on here. It's the first real action from them. The tropical rain pouring down. It's 31 degrees, apparently, and raining out here in the tropical Cayman Islands. But a wayward ball from Canada. It comes up to Rig. He's got the space in front of him. Is he going to pull it back? We know that that's what he likes to do. Roach, Fagan, Fagan marks his return to the squad with a goal and a cartwheel. I'll just send us straight to the finals. Praise be to the Cayman Islands as we secure a vital win. Great stuff. So, that's us three points ahead of Canada. We've both got one match each left with Dominican Republic. So even if Canada win that, we would just need a point from our game against Dominican Republic to go through. All right, so we fast forwarded to the November fixtures. Canada Dominican Republic is up first. It's um, unlikely, but if Canada fail to win this game, we've qualified. And would you believe it, we've done it. Dominican Republic pulled it off. They got a nil-nil draw. So that means Cayman Islands qualify for the semi-final without having to kick another ball in anger. That performance also means we've qualified for the next Gold Cup in 2037. Wow, that makes my big news kind of pointless. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Look who's come. Crawling back, Emerson Skeet, as soon as he realised the glory was on for a first ever Division A win in the Nations League and a first ever qualification for the semi-finals, he suddenly decided to come back to the international fold. Okay, so that didn't quite go according to plan. Dominican Republic coming out of nowhere in the final two matches of this phase we did of course rotate a few players gave a few youngsters a competitive game backfired on us a bit as we lost one nil 88th minute but this is the important thing the fact that we've topped the group and we're through and if we have a look we're going to be joined by usa and mexico still down to either honduras or jamaica in the final game well, any dreams of finally winning something are a little bit slimmer now. It seems we've drawn Mexico in the Nations League semi-final. That's going to be our next episode. Then I guess Jamaica, USA in the other game. And I guess if we if we somehow get past Mexico, we, we've got as good a chance as anybody of actually winning the thing. But we'll see. We'll be back soon for a new episode. It could be the last episode ever of New Gen Nation. So get commenting down below your favourite moments, your favourite player. If you think the experiment worked well or what we could have done differently, maybe what we could do differently for a future iteration for Football Manager 2021. Get thinking about it. 
I'm going to get ready for the Nations League semi-finals. Dodgy Gamer International Manager of Mystery. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. See you again soon.